Hi there. Today we're going to practice the pronunciation and writing of the Chinese characters you just learned. For this class, you learned five characters. First character, yi, the first tone, yi, yi, yi. Second character, r, fourth tone, r, r, r. The third character, first tone, san, san. Sun. Fourth character. Wu, wu, wu. The last character. Shi, 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 shi. To practice the writing, we're using Tian Zi Ge. This character Tian, second tone, Tian. The meaning is the field. In ancient times, it's always referred to crop field. If you look at the grids here, each one of them just like the character Tian. So we call this Tian Zi Ge, meaning Tian character grids. We wanted to put each Chinese character in one of the Tian to practice it. There are some general rules, do's and don'ts. When you choose a Tian character, you want to put your practice to be centered, balanced, nicely stretched. The order is always from left to right and top to bottom. And also, you can't go across the four borders of this Tian. So none of the stroke should come out of the four borders. And also, it has to be nicely stretched, so none of the part of your character should be highly squeezed in one of the four quadrants. I want to introduce some basic strokes to you. The top line, five strokes. First one, dian. Second one, hung. This is shu, pie. Last one, na. These are the five basic strokes. And then below it, there are three groups. For this group, you can see it's out of one of the top basic ones and with a turning. This one, the top one, for example, is a Heng and with a turning. So this one is Heng Zhe and this one is Shu. So then this is a Shu with a turning, so Shu Zhe. And this one is Shu and with a turning, this called Shu one. This two we call T. The last group, this one actually always have a go Go meaning hook, either left hook or right hook. So we're going to introduce these strokes whenever we run into them. Character number one, yi. This one, just one stroke. Heng. Second character, r, two strokes. Tu Heng. San. Three strokes. Three Heng. Again, San. When we write San, three strokes. So the top one, little shorter, and then underneath the shortest. And the last one is the longest. Character Wu. This one, we start with a Heng. First have a Heng. The second stroke 
called 撇 third tone 撇 so we put a 撇 underneath 横 撇 the third stroke 横 zhe is a 横 with a turning so we call this 横 zhe both second tone so we add a 横 zhe 横 zhe and the last stroke is another 横 we put 横 underneath that's 五 ok repeat 五 the last character 十 the first stroke is a 横 and the second stroke is a vertical one and this one called 树 so putting together 横 and 树 that's 十 here's how to practice the writing please use your eyes, ears, hand, voice and mind all together and chant every character with correct pronunciation and intonation while practicing as well as thinking the meaning of it and also think the image of it the key is to memorize the characters in all aspects try to challenge yourself with reciting each character in your mind by thinking its pronunciation intonation image and meaning this is the traditional way of learning chinese characters all right again the five characters Let's try to pronounce all of them again. E, R, San, Wu, Shi. For writing, let's try to write it in the Tian Zi Ge. All right. We'll start with E, E. E, 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 R, 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 R. San, 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 San. So let's repeat the stroke. 横, 撇, 横折, 横, 五, 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 十, 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 十. All right, that's the practice of writing. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.